Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my newest members, Leandro Albuquerque da Fonseca, I hope I, I didn't mispronounce your name, and Jeremy Jackson. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button and members are given shout outs in my videos. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 10 to the power 22 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 23 plus 1 and 10 to the power 23 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 24 plus 1. And we're going to try to figure out which number is larger. Now initially this problem was designed with different numbers, much larger numbers such as 2022 and 2023, you know, just to uh, in honor of the, the years, but when I plug those in, I got these results. So they're both undefined. How can I compare them numerically, right? There's no way you can evaluate it. They're very, very large numbers, numerators and denominators. But when you divide them, you know, they're going to be super duper close. Anyways, now let's go ahead and take a look at how we can compare these two numbers. And algebra is going to help us. So we're going to do a little bit of substitution here. And as you know, substitution is a cool method. So let a equal the first number, which is this one, 10 to the power 22 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 23 plus 1, and b equal 10 to the power 23 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 24 plus 1. And since we see powers of 10 a lot, let's go ahead and pick the smallest power and call that x. So I'm going to call x equal to 10 to the power 22. And now we're going to go ahead and substitute that into a and b. And now we're going to get the following. We can just go ahead and uh, skip this page and then go on to the next page. So we have a equals, remember, x is equal to 10 to the power 22. So a is going to become x plus 1 divided by 10x plus 1. So let me go ahead and rewrite those so you can kind of see what they look like. So a was 10 to the power 22 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 23 plus 1. And b is 10 to the power 23 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 24 plus 1. And x is equal to 10 to the power 22. Now if you go ahead and replace 10 to the power 22 with x, you're going to get a equals x plus 1 divided by Remember, the next power is going to be 10 times the, the previous one, so it's going to be 10x plus 1. And b is going to be 10x plus 1, which is kind of like the denominator for the other fraction, divided by 100x plus 1. So basically, it just comes down to comparing these two numerical, or I should say variable expressions, and then going back and plugging it in. Okay, great. So... Let's go ahead and compare and be, but how do you compare two variable expressions? There are two ways to go about it, and it kind of depends on the problem. Uh, one of them is dividing a and b. So if you can kind of prove that, of course, in this case, a, a and b have to be positive. Let's just say a and b are positive. And if you find that a over b is, let's say, greater than 1, this just implies that a is greater than b as long as a and b are positive. Or if a over b is less than 1, then this is just going to imply a is less than b as long as a and b are both positive. But in this case, division is not a good idea. Why? Uh, because it just doesn't work nicely. Maybe it does. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to be using subtraction method. And the subtraction method works like the following. I'm going to go ahead and subtract a and b, and then I'm going to look at the difference. And this difference doesn't really depend on, um, you know, uh, x being positive or negative. We can basically subtract two numbers. If their difference is positive, then the first number is larger than the second, so on and so forth. So we're going to start by comparing uh, or looking at a minus b, which is x plus 1 over 10x plus 1 minus 10x plus 1 divided by 100x plus 1. Awesome. So we're going to make a common denominator and simplify this expression. So a minus b, so we need to multiply um, a kind of crisscross, you know. So it's going to be like x plus 1 times 100x plus 1. And then minus, we have 10x plus 1 multiplied by itself. 
which can be written as 10x plus 1 quantity squared. And that is going to be divided by the common denominator, which is 10x plus 1 multiplied by 100x plus 1. Okay, now let's go ahead and simplify the numerator and then see what we can do about it. So we're going to distribute. When we do, we get 100x squared plus x plus 100x plus 1. And the second one is a perfect square, so if you expand it, you're going to get 100x squared minus 20x minus 1 using the formula a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then we can go ahead and just divide this by... Uh oh, that didn't work. Okay, so I was hoping that this was really straightened out like this. Okay, here we go. And the bottom, now we don't need to distribute the bottom. Just Let's just leave it as is because uh, we are interested in uh, this the sine for a minus b. And we don't really need to distribute the bottom. So here we can cancel out, let's see, 100x squared cancels out, and then 1 cancels out, and we end up with x terms only. So a minus b becomes 100 minus 20 is 80, 80 1x divided by 10x plus 1 multiplied by 100x plus 1. Okay, this is a minus b, and remember, uh, a minus b, if a minus b is positive, a is greater than b, otherwise a is less than b. Of course, a and b are not equal, we know that hopefully, right? There's no way this can be zero unless uh, x is zero, and we know that x is not equal to zero, because x is 10 to the power of 22, so it's not zero. So, is this a positive quantity or a negative quantity, and how can I tell, right? Well, here's the thing, uh, a to 1x, so x is 10 to the power 12, so it's definitely a positive quantity. 10 to the power 12, did I say 12? It's 22. So x is positive, a to 1x is positive, 10x plus 1 is positive, 100x plus 1 is also positive, everything is positive, so it's all good, right? We're all on a positive mood, so this means that a minus b is greater than 0. Awesome. And what is that supposed to mean? If a minus b is greater than 0, that means a is greater than b. Great. So the larger number is the first number, and we were looking for the larger one. Now let's go back and see what the numbers were. So a was uh, the first number, which is 10 to the power 22. So we were looking for the greater number, so it's 10 to the power 22 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 23 plus 1, and that's definitely greater than 10 to the power 23 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 24 plus 1. Awesome. So, uh, the, this is the order in which these numbers uh, are. But let's go ahead and take a look at, look at the numerical values. And that's also going to confirm the result. And here we go. Obviously, when I write it as 10 to the power something, for some reason, I don't know why, but Desmos doesn't like that type of writing. And it's not going to give me these exact results. So, as you can see here, uh, even though they kind of have similar um, digits, uh, the problem is we have the 0 0.1008, the other one has 0 0.1008. So we have three zeros between 1 and 8, here we have two zeros, therefore uh, this number is larger. And that is going to be uh, 10 to the power 22 plus 1 divided by 10 to the power 23 plus 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.